Hey, welcome. This is Jesse Dale with Macro Millionaire, and we are featuring one of my main man, Thomas Helton, with Lifestyle Design Nutrition. He's the owner, the creator of Lifestyle Design Nutrition, and I really think it's important and it's going to maybe enrich your lives to kind of hear his story. Maybe you're someone that you're like, you know, nutrition coaching, is that a thing? You know, well, now that I know it is a thing, maybe I need a coach. You know, we all got some of those, those either holiday pounds, birthday pounds, or just life pounds. If you're carrying some life pounds, you know what I'm talking about. So I, without further ado, I'm introducing Thomas Hilton. He's who we are interviewing today. Thomas, how are you, brother? Awesome. Yourself? Good, good, man. I'm, I'm excited. I'm glad that you took the time to be here because I know in addition to nutrition coaching, um, you're also an engineer, correct? Yes, I am. Well, so did that kind of come into the um, into play with you know, like your engineering background when you have a lifestyle designed in nutrition? Exactly. Yeah, I was a design engineer for the last uh, eight and a half years or eight years. I'm sorry. And uh, so that kind of just played in into the name a little bit, the design part. Just plays yeah. in the analytical nature I have and um, <laughs> yeah. being a designer helps. Gotcha. So, Thomas, how does an, an engineer, you know, great career, rocking and rolling, how does he, how did you end up in online nutrition coaching? Well, there's two parts of it. Um, one kind of goes back to when I was a kid and my family, my whole family has been obese and has a lot of health issues. Um, and they kind of always just defaulted that that was the way genetically we were, we were supposed to be or we were going to be, right? So they... They, I say they joke around when I was younger and say they're going to laugh at me when I got older and got fat. And I kind of started out as I'm going to prove you wrong. Right. And that lasted for a long while. And then I hit kind of a, a you know, a dead end on that motivation. Right. And um, needed to find some other reason to get driven. And that's where, um, you know, for years I'd restricted on my diet and food and couldn't seem to get where I wanted to be and decided I wasn't getting any older. I might as well try competing and hiring a coach and when I did that she really opened my eyes in an extremely short period of time just how powerful nutrition is um, and so that aspect really ignited the you know the passion for nutrition because I had been doing the lifting for years and it really wasn't getting where I wanted to be and that in a matter of moments at 30 years old completely flipped the script on me and uh, changed everything so that was one aspect and the other was with engineering um you know you're sitting in an office all day you're kind of you're just working at a computer and while it's it's enjoy enjoyable work it can be stressful and um you know i kind of wanted something else where i can help other people um break free you know knowing what i know uh, about nutrition now and the analytical side of me i feel like i can break things down in a much more manageable way for other people to understand and break them free of those binds. I mean, because honestly, it drags a person down if they're constantly dealing with their health or feeling lethargic or they can't they can't live life, right? I never wanted to be held back by my physical side, right? I want to be able yeah. to live the life I want to live. Yeah. I remember before I found nutrition, I was like 18. I wanted to be huge and, you know, so I was eating everything in sight. And I remember I just got fat, you know, I, I, it was nuts. And I was doing the elliptical like two hours a day. And I worked as a trainer at a health club. And I'm like, it, what is going on? And it just like you kind of mentioned that light bulb moment. The second that I started to, I also did macronutrient based nutrition. The second I did it, like literally just started falling off. And I'm like, oh, this nutrition end is important. And, and then you just get excited. You want to teach that to other people. You know, you yeah. want them to have that same light bulb moment, you know? Exactly. Oh, that's awesome. So who like, you know, lifestyle design nutrition, who's kind of like your target client? If I'm sitting here and I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm looking for an awesome coach, who would you say that uh, is, is a target client for you or a perfect client if there was such thing? So it's kind of a weird amalgamation for me because I'm a bit of amalgamation in, in a way that it's um, kind of looking like, I feel like when you go to find somebody to coach, you end up looking for yourself in a way. Right? <laughs> so. Uh, I've got kind of two two aspects. One being that com you know I work well with competitors, people who have that drive, that end goal, that target, right? Uh, the analytical side of me really works well and and, and you know resounds well with with a, what a competitor spirit would be. 
Uh, so that that's one aspect. And then the other would be, you know, that professionally minded person who's basically looking at performance, looking at their motivation, their drive. They find that their performance has fallen off because they're being held back by their physical side, right? Mm-hmm. They have dreams, they have big aspirations, but they can't seem to get there on account of their own physical bad habits. Um, I mean, I'll work with anybody, you know, that, that most people that they're having issues, I can try to help, I'll help with their habits, but I find that that type of person who has that same single-mindedness about things at times uh, are really the ones that we jive really well and they're willing to, you know, they kind of, exp- I guess, blossom essentially and, and learn. Yeah, so I, what I'm hearing too is maybe someone who, they've, they've tried it all, man. I mean, they've done the keto, they've done the high carb, they've done the low carb, they've done the pills, they've done whatever else that people do, but they're just, they're ready for a system, they're ready for a process, and they're serious. They're not playing games. Um, right. They're serious and they're ready ready to do this. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, they've got, they've got pieces of the puzzle, and they've been trying things for years, they can't put it all together. Yeah, no, awesome. Now, before I forget, I'll probably uh, ask this again, but how, if I'm that ideal client, if I'm like, man, Thomas, I've tried it all, I want you to design nutrition in my life, how do I get a hold of you? Uh, well, there's a couple ways. Um, I guess there's uh, my email, right? Uh, I've got uh, ldnutrition20 at gmail.com, as well as, of course, the Macro Millionaire website. Uh, you can find me as a uh, one of the uh, look at my bio on their website um and then also i'm on facebook i am on instagram i'm not really on there as much as i am on facebook that tends to be more my home base uh so if you find me on facebook I, I and how would we find you on facebook is it uh, thomas hilton yeah it's just not straight up thomas hilton uh, i do have a business page um i haven't really actively used it that much I'm just starting to, to dip my toes into that a little bit but it's mostly just my personal web page, Facebook gotcha. page. Gotcha. As far as like you getting into coaching, what 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 fears did you have at first? Like here you're going to launch this online business. You know what I mean? You're going to make this investment. I mean, I, I remember talking to you and you weren't just like, sign me up. Yeah, let's do it right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will say that in the beginning, so there was a couple things. Um, the money was one, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Right, it seems to be, it's a big investment initially, it felt like anyway, right, for the unknown or not sure. understanding, because I'd, I had previously coached some people or some friends and family, and knowing just how difficult it was with the system that I was using and kind of prescribing meal plans and stuff, and trying to be creative and come up with things for them. It, while it works, it really was, it was really a draining. Right? There was a lot of energy that was going into that on one side and then they just walk away because I didn't charge anybody at the time. And so I didn't know how that aspect was gonna work and how I could potentially take on enough people to help a big enough crowd as well as give myself, keep myself, you know, energy levels high. And then the other was putting myself out there, right? I'd not really been that active in social media. I'd not made posts, I'd not made videos. I'd never done a live video up to that point. Um, and so it was just really bizarre to me. I mean, as an engineer, I'm in front of people in meetings all the time. So that, that really wasn't a big deal. Uh, but when you're doing a live, it feels different because now you feel exposed to everybody online and right. it being a live video, you could screw up and, you know, everybody sees you do it. So you can't really take it back. Yeah. Uh, so that was a big fear, I guess, was, was both the initial investment and how is, what's the systems and processes in place to help the coaches do their job yeah uh, and and make that kind of initial investment back um as well as just the social aspect how do i put myself out there and brand myself as the nutrition guy that they want to work with you know yeah, how great, are you that's that's a great so how how did you work through that because i i kind of knew your story but i mean i see you doing lives all the time now it's like you've been doing it for years you know, yeah. so what helped you kind of just overcome that that block, if you will? Uh, well, some of it was, uh, I think back in, was it December? End of December after we first started working a little bit together. Um, I did it, went through some mindset training. Yeah. Uh, and I was in a real negative space for a long time. And because of just stagnation at work and stuff in terms of my career. 
and um, I just had kind of gotten to a point where I said, you know, enough's enough. I need to find something to grow. I need to change. So I was like, God was telling, put me in a place, prime me for change. And so I was just kind of like, all right, God, show me what you got. Let's do this. You know, and I, yeah, I was really uncomfortable. And I told my wife after my first live that I did, just kind of introducing what I'm doing and why. I mean, it was a long video for one. When I got off and my heart was like pounding, the adrenaline's going, right. you know, just kind of shaking. My hands just shook for a good 30 minutes after the first video. Right. Um, and it just took repetition, right? Mm -hmm. Doing it over and over and then building habits. So, um, you know, positive habits with the posts and things, right? Trying to get out there every day, a little bit of value and not thinking about helping everybody, but that one person who might need help. Right. Uh, it's like thinking about it like I'm having a conversation with that one person. Maybe I can make that one person a difference in their day. Man, I love that. I love that. And, you know, I like what, what you were saying about just not growing. It's kind of like what people would see as a setback, you saw as a setup. You know, but it, it was, a t I mean, a setup. You hear you're doling out money. You know what I mean? You're in a position where you just don't feel like you're growing. You know, if you can, if you fast forward from December to now, how do you, where are you as far as like personal growth, financial growth, level of impact? Um, how, how do you feel that you're growing at this point? Well, I know with the coronavirus, it's kind of thrown things into, into <laughs> some weird, some weird uh, twilight zone in some aspects. But um, I would say impact wise, you know, yeah, I have eight clients, which in the beginning, that was my target. Right now, knowing what I know and being as familiar with the system as I am, I'm working to grow that to, you know, I'd like to at least try to double, if not to go more than double that. Yeah. Um, so I'm in the process of doing that. Um, in terms of personal growth, I mean, my, my social, I guess my social impact or influence, I've over doubled my uh, following or my, my friends list, which wow. helps me to reach out more, uh, touch more people and get more feedback. Right. So. Um, I will say with, in terms of the financial side, you know, I've been, I've doing, I've made my money back much, very fast, really. Um, and, uh, doing all right. I've had some weird hiccups here and there, right. Which is with any business, but, uh, doing well, I guess I don't know how to, ca how to really capture that. I'm not, I'm not at that 10 K figure or anything like that a month. Right. It's eight clients. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the people have different goals. Like you mentioned, your goal initially is, hey, I want I want eight clients. And, you know, we have people that do this on the side. We have people that they want to do it full time, you know, so it's not performance-based acceptance, you know, right. with, with Macro Million, we just want to see people growing in all realms. And yeah, if that means making 10K a month or 20 or whatever, fantastic. But we don't want that to be at the expense of, you know, their marriage, their physical, you know, because now they just own a job. You know? right. Yeah, and that was one of the, I guess that would be the other aspect of what I was setting out to do was to uh, provide more financial freedom for my family. Yeah. Feel, we hadn't been, let's just face it, I hadn't been on a vacation in 10 years. Oh, wow. And and I never felt comfortable enough to, to, to go out and do so um, with my family. And so we were just getting to that point right before I started the business to where we could start to save some money and, and build that snowball, right? Yeah. Um, and this has just helped to build that snowball even faster and give me the confidence and, and to know that I can go out and do those things and enjoy more family time and it not and, and still be able to pay the bills just fine, right? Which I was doing okay before. I don't want to make it sound like I wasn't. I mean, right. I was, no, no. I, well, I mean, you know, eight, eight clients at, you know, say $200 a client, that's what, you know, I don't know, $1,600 a month minus some expenses. So call it $1,200. And man, that's a trip to Disneyland every month. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, that's cool. So what are your future goals? You know, where, where do you, you mentioned eight to 16. So it sounds like you're, you're enjoying this, this, this lifestyle that you're in, and it's something that you maybe want to put even more time and energy into. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm working on trying to set up ways to set myself up to hopefully down the road, at least give myself, make myself make the decision. Do I want to stay engineering? Full time with this as a side gig, or to change this to my main gig. Wow, that's a I'd like to get to that point where I can I can make that call. 
Yeah, wow, that's awesome, man. You know, and, and this is something that I think that we, maybe we could talk through outside of this interview, but I just, with the, the level of quality and polish that you have, I mean, maybe even doing like a mastermind group uh, for, you know, more higher higher ticket or exclusive type clients, I could see the direction your business kind of, uh, kind of taking because I think what you have as an entrepreneur that you know that a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with is you have, you know, you're very, when I asked you, hey, who, who is your perfect client? You knew, hey, it's someone driven, someone professional. They're not playing games. This, this is this is a priority for them. Where a lot of people are like, well, I want to help everyone. And that sounds good. But we know that we, we have different personalities and we're not able to help everyone. You know? Right. And so. some of that, you know, when you first start out and you first start taking your initial clients, you kind of have to open the doors to just about everyone. Sure. To really focus in on who that avatar, what that avatar looks like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and being able to have all the tools to do that is, is awesome. But I just, I like when I see an entrepreneur like yourself evolve to be like, hey, cool. I've opened the doors to everyone and I can still do that if, 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 if I want to. But really being able to work with that special someone that you know that you could have the most impact. With, I think that's true freedom, you know. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, whether it's financial freedom, time freedom, or just freedom to unshackle ourselves and be ourselves with our, with whether it be a client or our wives or whatever, to me, those are the three, the three elements of freedom that uh, I, I aspire to get to. Exactly. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I am going to, we're going to conclude it here. Um, but Thomas, I appreciate it. I only have one more question. So if you, if you had a coach, if you can talk, if you can know, know, knowing what you know now, yep. if you can go back to Thomas so back in, I don't know, December or whatever, when you're kind of looking at the program, what would you tell that person? Don't hesitate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's like that first Let's jump. Jump on the December 7th train, right? <laughs> 2019. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Man, that is awesome. Well, Thomas, I really appreciate uh, your time with this. this. This actually leveled me up, so you can invoice me uh, for your time because I'm leveled up right now. <laughs> totally cool. Just make sure I get like, uh, I don't know, the Macromillionaire discount. That would be nice. <laughs> sure thing. No, thanks a lot, Thomas, man. We, uh, I really appreciate this. Well, anytime.